Hey, I'm Ryan Lott of Sunlux. I'm here in Warsaw. It was fantastic. Yeah. Uh, really warm, beautiful crowd. Uh, everyone was really enthusiastic. We played well. We just had a ton of fun. So it was great. Uh, well, I studied uh, piano starting very early when I was about six years old, and um, and it was sort of just a family rule where the kids had to play the piano. And uh, at one point, I decided that uh, and I just wanted to continue, um, and it was the moment that I realized I could make my own music yeah. and not just play other people's music. And then from there, I just continued to study. Um, at university, uh, th through high school and university, and um, uh, and then I got my start writing music professionally, uh, writing music for dance companies, um, for ballet and contemporary dance, um, and uh, somewhere along the line, I started to work on my own ideas uh, that eventually became Sunlux. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, well, hopefully, you know, I'm always growing. Um, but one of the things that that is a big difference from when I started is that I'm now surrounded by lots of um, talented musicians. And um, I'm always able to collaborate with uh, people um, who are very skilled in music in different ways. And when I was first making Sunlux music, that first record I made uh, by myself. And um, at the time I lived in a place where there weren't really any musicians around. So um, I think that's the biggest difference. And now, uh, for the first time, I have a band. Um, and this tour that we've been on since January um, has taught me a lot and has brought me in t even further into a place where I'm uh, collaborating with uh, with other with other musicians. Yeah, actually, I would say the this latest album was more similar to my first album. the 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 album that was very different was the second album, We Are Rising, which um, I did. Um, almost a uh, stream of consciousness where uh, it was like improvising uh, in the studio and um, I only because I I challenged myself to compose that to create to write and record that um, album in 28 days um, so uh, the other albums at War with Walls and Mazes and Lanterns have um, they each took years to make and I would develop them slowly and experiment with different versions of the same song over and over and over. Well, I, I'm an avid collaborator in many ways, and but there is... Um, there's something very personal about my process. Um, there's there's something very cooperative, and there's something very personal. And um, I think because I do invite collaboration so much, um, it allows me to. I, I sort of need to hold on to a certain aspect of the very personal um, um, and the very solo. Um, way of, of creating. Also, from a technical perspective, I'm constantly exploring new ways to present sound and um, to develop musical ideas that are very much rooted in production. Because my instrument, my primary instrument, uh, is the studio itself. Yeah. 
Uh, I studied piano for for many many years. I played I played I play various instruments, but my my home yeah. is the studio. Well, yeah, I think probably I would say the most enjoyable thing uh, is surprise. Surprise. The the moments where you're surprised by something that happens. Uh, through experimenting yeah. or just com combining certain sounds and th when some when things click there's this special moment that I always look for when I'm waiting for something to click and then I'm surprised by it and that, that's when I know it's, it's really good. special yeah